Conditionally, we've seen how we can use if and if to check for values before deciding what to do. And that's fine. And we have seen that we can use multiple conditions in this, but those multiple conditions become quite numerous. Then, there is another way dealing with conditional statement and that's the select case okay so let's use a new module we'll go to insert then module select case works by taking a variable and comparing it to possible values and doing something if meet the possible value okay so i will show you the syntax first we need to declare variable okay i will type dim my name as stream enter then I will type select case then I will put my variable which is my name this one select case then since I already declare my variable then I will hit the tab then I will type case I will put the string delimiters which is a double quote if we will handle with the string then select case my name then I will put say three then another here if my name is re then we can add a command here or we carry out some statement then another if my name is roy again carry out carry out some instruction here then another case if my name is then though then carry out more actions so this is the one this is my variable if my name is ray then we can carry out some statement or execute then if my name is Roy then carry out some instruction and if my name is Dendo then again carry out some action then to finish the select case statement we need to add and select so now our select case statement is finished so this is the one this case statements works by taking a variable okay now i will copy this one here so if let's say 
if my name this Ray Roy Dindo is none or none of the above for the again if select case or my name is Ray Roy Dindo then this is the carry out some instruction however if none of the above so we can use the case else it's almost similar with the f statement here also there is a but instead of else only since we are dealing with the select case now we use else case else then carry out something if carry out something if none of the above so if not re if not roy if not then do then carry out something then and select so again we can also handle with the numeric okay or number again i will declare the variable name my number as integer then select case my number so when this example we need to check the range of the values using the select case okay now i will type here case 1 2 10 so as you can see here we have string delimiters because we are dealing with a string that's why we need to put from start with double quote and the last double quote so this is our delimiters for the string so since this way we are dealing with a number or integer so we don't need to add the string delimiters so this is the range case 1 to 10 then if my number is 1 to 10 then do something here if value is between 1 and 10 again if my number is 1 to 10 so do something then another range case 11 to 20 then do something else so again if my number is rings with 1 to 10 then do something then if rings is 11 to 20 then do something again please don't forget to close the select case by adding and select okay so again here we also make another example for working with a number okay again i will type dim my number as integer sim at the above then i will type also here select case my 
number now we'll put here case is less than 100 so you notice that we have a keyword here is unlike the other there's no is so this one this keyword is means you don't need to repeat my number because that's a variable my name so this is the variable so you don't need to add or to repeat the number since we already use this keyword is so case is less than 100 then do something then case is less than 200 then do something again if none of the above will use case else then again do something if none of the above then we need to close our select statement by adding and select so this is it